Well, for more on the cost implications of tariffs on consumers, I'm joined by Ben Dunbar, investment advisor at Gerber Kawasaki, live from Los Angeles. Welcome to the show. Thanks. So we've already heard reports from companies like Walmart saying the extra cost associated with tariffs will be passed on to consumers. But what are some other ways to handle these costs rather than passing them on to consumers? Well, a company like Walmart has a tiny profit margin, and when they're going against Amazon, they need to keep everything as low as possible just so consumers choose to buy the items from Amazon, or choose to buy the items from Walmart rather than Amazon. So they don't really have much of a choice here because they have such a small profit margin. But that being said, all their grocery numbers and all of that, that's not very much affected by tariffs. So it's only certain parts of their business. And I think that's why there's positive reaction from the stock because there's realization that it's only part of their business that's going to be affected by tariffs. So talk about the types of companies that are likely to feel the biggest brunt of these tariffs. I mean, we heard from Macy's today, right? You, you have a good amount of imports from China from Macy's, a lot of these clothing stores, Nordstrom, those areas, as well as steel and all that type of stuff. So there's a bunch of different other companies that are, in certain, that are very concentrated in certain areas that they could have a lot of huge issues, as well as just a lot of small businesses. I think that's, that's really going to be the big hurt here, where you have small businesses that have limited suppliers. They can't just go move supply to somewhere else and it's very, uh, you know, it's very expensive for a small business to make a major change like that versus these major companies, they have the ability to shift production if necessary to some degree, even if it's going to still end up hurting their bottom line to some degree. So then as these negotiations they appear to be fraying and these tariffs keep escalating, how are businesses in both countries preparing themselves for the potential fallout? <laughs> I don't think anyone really knows. Um, I think you have companies like Walmart getting ahead of it and you know, telling us in their earnings call to expect price increases just so there's no surprise if it does all go through. But ultimately, you know, companies need to be prepared and, and need to kind of assume, hey, this may not happen, although ultimately a trade agreement is beneficial for both countries. It's just we have two very stubborn leaders and coming to an agreement has posed more of a challenge than, than we've expected. I mean, how many times have, has it sounded like we're about to have an agreement and then it just blows up all in our face again. Uh, but you certainly know that uh, the retail industry isn't thrilled with this. In fact, in response <laughs> to Trump's escalating tariffs, here's what they said um, in a statement. They said that um, the administration's decision to announce a tax on every product coming from China puts America's entire economy at risk. Americans' entire shopping cart will get more expensive. Now, this comes as some as U.S. retail sales unexpectedly fell in April. How costly could this tariff move be for a sector that's already shuttering stores and laying off workers? It is very problematic. You have shrinking profit margins. You have very price conscious consumers just because of the information available that really Amazon's provided. So it's definitely a huge issue for these retailers. But I think if we're looking decades back, the, the movement of shifting production to China without looking what the repercussions are was a problem that we made. And so we're kind of in this la la zone trying to figure things out. And it's, it's definitely a huge problem for a lot of these retailers. And the American consumer is definitely getting hurt here with these potential price increases. And especially shoppers at Walmart who you know, don't have that extra discretionary income to spend, you know, every little price difference makes a dramatic difference. And so it, it's, it definitely is hurtful if we can't, if we can't come to the table and, and make something happen. Now, Ben, President Trump is saying, look, here's a solution for these companies. Why not build in America and buy American? But given the complexity of supply chains, how realistic is that? Well, for big businesses, it's actually a lot easier to some degree because they have negotiating power, moving things here. But again, you take just a small business person who you know, is importing some stuff from China, probably has some U.S. employees, making this dramatic change is super costly and very expensive. And the reality is we've made this shift years ago. And just to move everything back here, it's not that simple, right? It makes the headlines when he says things like that, but it really isn't that simple. And I mean, especially for, for people who are going to have to be paying the price for this. We saw a study by economic consulting firm Trade Partnership Worldwide, and they think that the average American family of four would pay $2,300 more in goods and services each year if Trump moves ahead with this 25% tariff on all goods from China. What sort of ripple effect can that have on the, in the entire economy? 
I mean, that is a big difference to a lot of people. I mean, there's so many studies out there that people can't even deal with a thousand dollar emergency. So that price increase is dramatic. And we haven't seen really much of a growing income increase for the middle class in America. And so it's a huge problem. It's, it's definitely a big problem and it's not great for the consumer and it's not great for an economy right now that is growing, but not growing very quickly. Uh, and so you know, we need to get this figured out. That's the bottom line. All right, thank you, Ben Dunbar there, investment advisor at Gerber Kawasaki.